Tea Squad. I haven't done a spill the tea bitch in a while, but I want to bring it back because I got some shit I want to talk about. So let's get into it. So the tea was released today that Sierra and Russell Wilson are expecting their first child together. This will be her second. You know, her first child, future Zaire, whatever the fuck his last name is, is by future, aka Nevadius. Both names terrible. Um, I'm happy that they're having their first child. You know, as soon as they hit that motherfucking honeymoon, bitch. He dug up in them motherfucking guts, bitch. And squirted all up in that sweet puss. Because, you know, they didn't have sex until they got married. Which I thought was very admirable. And very Christian-like. <laughs> um, so, I'm happy for them. I just hope the baby don't come out looking like Mr. Potato Head. Because that's a Potato Head looking motherfucker. He's cute. But he looked like a builder bear. <laughs> nonetheless. And hopefully it does not come out with her struggle vocals. But nonetheless, congratulations to Sierra and Russell Wilson. I'm happy for them and their new baby. Hopefully, hopefully it's a girl. And she picks a better name for this one than she did the last one. Because it still rattles me that she decided to name that baby Future. Like, somebody should have told her, bitch, look into your future and know that his daddy ain't gonna be around when you had that motherfucker. Because, you know, when she had a little future, that nigga was on tour and did not get off tour to come to the motherfucking hospital. She was had the baby by herself with her daddy and her mama. But, hopefully, like I said, this time she'll do it better. So, Tristan Thomas, this nigga that played for the Cavaliers, and Khloe Kardashian have been dating now for the last two months. But the T is, honey... That this nigga got a whole baby on the way with this girl named Jordan Craig. Jordan Craig is a Nico Parrish Hart, Kevin Hart's wife, cousin. And her father is one of the producers, directors of Real House Husbands of Hollywood. So she comes from money, honey. But her and Tristan Thompson are having a baby together, but they just recently broke up. And now he's with Khloe Kardashian and just traipsing all around the motherfucking globe with her ass and i just think that it's so fucked up when niggas do that shit like it's okay if y'all decide y'all don't want to be together be with each other anymore you know what i'm saying but i just think that it's so fucked up and selfish and just mean and heartless and cruel to know that you have a whole baby on the way with somebody and then decide to date someone else while that girl is pregnant and then just flaunt her around. I mean, they all over Instagram. Chloe all on Instagram and Snapchat tonight at the motherfucking game and shit. When they got his, when he got his uh championship ring, taking photos and shit. I just think that it's so insensitive. That's why I can't stand on fucking Kardashians. They don't give a fuck about nobody, and they wonder why shit happened to their asses all the fuck time. And I just think they both trifling him and Chloe for doing this shit. Have some respect for that girl and just keep it on the low. Give it some months. Let that girl have her baby in peace. You never know how it's affecting her. She could probably give a shit. But it's just still just so fucked up and insensitive when niggas do shit like that. And then they wonder why fucked up shit happened to their black asses. Because they don't think about how they make other motherfuckers feel when they leave somebody or when the breakup is over. Motherfuckers are just heartless and cruel. And this nigga obviously just want to build a name for itself because nobody knew who the fuck he was until he started dating Chloe old ape gorilla looking ass oh Oompa Loompa ooh Mr. she looked like Mrs. Potato Head looking ass her old put it together American doll looking ass I cannot stand her and her fake inflated ass and that's why OJ her daddy but anyway I just wanted to spill some tea on that it just irks me then, I know y'all probably heard about Kanye West uh, got on stage last week in Sacramento or somewhere in Seattle and bitching about the fact that Jay-Z called him after Kim got robbed and asked him how he was doing. And he felt like, Kanye, I mean, Jay should have came to the house instead to see him and to check on them. And he's talking to him, I mean, you supposed to be my brother. Our kids ain't never even played together. Um, excuse you, sir. What do you expect? Jay-Z and Beyonce didn't even come to your motherfucking raggedy ass wedding in Italy or wherever the fuck y'all got married. They didn't even bother to come. I will never fucking forget the day. Beyonce politely 
put a post up on Instagram and said, congratulations, hope you all have a beautiful wedding. And then later on that day, photos released of Jay-Z and Beyonce on fucking bicycles, riding around in the Hamptons on fucking bicycles. They didn't have nothing to do that day. <laughs> they weren't on tour. They weren't doing anything but riding bicycles, bitch. They did not want to be bothered with y'all raggedy asses. That showed you right then and there that they don't fuck with y'all like this. So why the fuck do you think that they're going to be bringing Blue over to play with North? It's not happening, sir. Beyonce is not about to put her child in a predicament where Kim and Yola's sneaky ass has probably got cameras and shit all around this motherfucker and then release the shit to the tabloids so it could y'all can have a look of showing Blue and New, uh, Northwest playing with each other. Fuck nah. And Beyonce and Jay-Z are not about to risk y'all being able to put her kid and sneak and put her kid and blur her face out so we could be on an episode of Keeping Up the Kardashians so motherfuckers can make it seem like, you know, Beyonce and Kim are cool. They don't fuck with y'all like that. Beyonce will never fuck with Kim like that because she already know what type of skank whore she is and what type of media whore she is and you are. Sorry. And let's not forget... The T on Jay-Z and Kanye and why they don't really get along no more is because, remember, Kanye is $52 million in debt. And it has been said that two years ago, he borrowed millions from Jay-Z to finance that Donda clothing line shit. And it took him a minute to pay that shit back. And Jay-Z was feeling some type of way about that. But at the end of the day, y'all have a business relationship. Jay-Z never fucked with your ass from the beginning, from the beginning of your Rockefeller days. It was Dame Dash that put your ass on. And you gave Dame your whole ass to kiss and went over there with Jay because Jay-Z had the name and Jay-Z was the rapper and he was the big homie and he was your idol but Jay-Z never fucked with you like that he only liked your beats in the beginning he didn't even see you as a fucking rapper so why are you all up in your ass about this nigga not coming over to see y'all he gave you a phone call nigga be happy you got that some motherfuckers probably didn't even do that Ugh, Kanye and Kim just get on my nerves and I'm tired of her trying to milk this goddamn robbery for everything it's got. I'm not going to be on social media anymore. Bitch, bye. Watch. In the next few weeks, whoa, well, shit. And now even the next few weeks. Tonight, her ass was already out and about. Motherfuckers out getting ice cream and shit and sweatshirts and no drawers and no bottoms and shit. Girl, hot watch. The storylines will read. She's going to do a major interview with probably like ABC Nightly News or People Magazine. And the headlines are going to read, I'm not going to let them take my uh, rights away of, you know, I'm not going to let anybody make me not be who I am. I'm a woman. I'm going to be who I'm going to be. Nobody's going to stop me. I'm not going to live in fear. I am Kim Kardashian. I've worked so hard for this and nobody's going to hold me back. Nobody's going to take me down. I'm going to live. I'm a mother. That's going to be the storyline, honey, when she comes back. Girl, don't be fooled by that bullshit. Kanye and Kim, sit down somewhere. Nobody the fuck cares. Then last but not least, Kim's BFF, Larsa Pip, y'all is out here sucking on future's dick <laughs> child lost a bit out here thotting and bopping baby with future future know he will ruin some lives that nigga comes to kill and destroy if that nigga ain't the damn devil so apparently Larsa and future been out here kicking it down to the ball honey and she been dipping and dabbing on scotty pippin big nose ass and they've been over there fighting and the police and shit that been called. And this motherfucker said, bitch, you got like fucked up and went down to the courthouse and filed papers on that bitch so motherfucking fast, ho. And then Future got his messy ass on Snapchat and looking all in the camera like this with a caption that say, she mine now. Nigga, no, you didn't. Girl, you can look at Larsa. Oh, raggedy ass and tell that she wasn't shit but that's what you niggas get y'all always going for light and right with these long hair wavy hair bitches that ain't about shit that's obviously only with your ass for your money because you know ain't nobody checking for scotty pippin ass he ain't cute worth the damn that nigga can only dribble a ball he probably can't even dribble no dick girl bye Ain't nobody checking for that nigga she was clearly in it for the paper and now she fucking with future ass because future can get it i i fuck with future Shit, sure in the fuck will. I would never take that shit seriously, though. You better not never look in that nigga eyes. Because as soon as you look in future eyes, you pregnant. Bitch, no. So, I hope it was worth it, bitch. Because future, girl, he gonna have you looking like Black China getting your name, his name tattooed and shit on you and then dump your ass and then act like y'all never fucking even happened in the first place. Girl, you hoes is dumb and ain't gonna never fucking get a clue. So, yeah, I just wanted to spill the tea on that real quick. Tonight's 
if anything else happens, I'll come back with another video. And be on the lookout later on today for a new episode of Since You Asked. Love you all.